okay now we are going to have a demo uh, so here basically I'm going to show you how to uh, code build develop deploy and execute your servlet application right so all the topics which you have discussed in our tutorial earlier uh, we are going to see practically how to implement uh, them uh, real time okay so but before I will start writing a single line of code I would like to uh, take you through the setup uh, you have to perform to make sure that you have the environment ready to develop your servlet applications right so number one is uh, JDK uh, it stands for Java development kit and uh, you need JDK to compile your Java classes right so we've discussed previously that uh, servlets are nothing but Java classes and they are a, they are a special kind of Java class right so ultimately you would need uh, JDK to uh, compile your classes and get the class files out of your servlets Next, Apache Tomcat. Uh, Tomcat is a web server, and uh, this is the web container in which all your servlets and JSPs are deployed. Right. So, uh, all these uh, downloads, which have been, which I've mentioned in this um, setup section, are uh, all open source, and you can download it. Uh, all these things. Uh, easily without any issues right so simply you go to the tomcat uh, website and you can get the latest version of uh, tomcat so in throughout this uh, demo uh, I will be using tomcat as my web server so uh, you have a lot of other web servers as, uh, as well apart from tomcat third thing is Eclipse IDE so Eclipse ID is uh, a development environment in which uh, you can easily code, build, deploy and execute your servlet applications. So it's a very user friendly ID and uh, it does a lot of things for you in the background. Okay. So you need to download this. but. Uh, I suggest you not to start your first application with uh, Eclipse IDE because um, as I told you uh, the IDE itself does a lot of things for you behind the scenes and uh, you you might not be able to understand uh, how things are working so until you get uh, pretty comfortable with uh, how all the pieces are put together and uh, how everything works uh, in a servlet uh, I would suggest you to simply uh, uh, type go and uh, type your code in, type your servlets in, type your uh, all your classes and deploy them manually in the Tomcat server rather than uh, use the ID features to uh, make your servlets development easy. Right. So once you get a good hold of uh, everything then uh, you can move to this ID right uh, which which will make uh, life easier for you right uh, and there are actually two versions of the eclipse id one is for the id for uh, java developers and uh, there is another called the id for java ee developers so it stands for enterprise edition uh, you need to get this one right so with uh, the general java de developer you will not be able to develop your servlet applications right so you need this to develop your servlet applications and this you with this id you can uh, do your servlets ejbs and many other enterprise applications right okay so that's about the downloads you need to do and once you are done with the downloads uh, you need to do some environment variable setup so you need to uh, set up some environment variables uh, to make sure that uh, uh, the system can uh, recognize your applications and it will able to it is able to um, find the right, right path uh, to your application right so uh, you first thing is the tomcat underscore home environment variable uh, I hope you know how to set up environment variable if you are using Microsoft Windows simply go to my computer right click properties and uh, go to the advanced tab 
you'll have an environment variable button there and uh, when you click on that you get a dialog box which shows you a list of uh, user environment variables and system environment variables so you need to add uh, the environment variables to the user environment variables right so add a user environment variable called tomcat underscore home and uh, give it a value the directory where you install tomcat okay so in my case this is uh, c tomcat uh, so i put the I install direct uh, tomcat in c tomcat directory so i give that value in the environment variable second thing is java home environment variable uh, and you need to give uh, the value of the directory where you installed jdk right and i suggest you to add the java home bin directory to the class path system environment variable because um, uh, when you add this uh, you will be able to compile your java classes from anywhere in the being in any directory okay if not uh, you should uh, you use uh, the java c uh, the java compiler from the java home bin directory only to compile all the time right so if you add the java home bin directory to the class path uh, you can simply say java c from any directory in your computer and uh, you'll be able to compile the java classes right so you just go to the system environment variable class path and uh, uh, simply edit that do not replace the existing value there edit it and go to the end of the existing value and put a semicolon there and give the path of your uh, jdk installation directory slash bin right so that will set the uh, java home bin directory to the class path okay and lastly uh, you need to add the serverless api jar file as well to the class path so there are uh, quite a few ways in which you can add a jar file to a class path and uh, what i actually did was i simply added this uh, jar file to the jre lib ext folder i simply picked up this and dropped it in the ext folder and you can find the jre uh, lib ext uh, in the uh, jdk installation directory right so wherever you install jdk you will find jre folder there okay so what is this um, servlet api jar file what does it contain so we know that servlets um, have a lot of other special classes called the HTTP servlet request, HTTP servlet response, HTTP servlet and a lot of other such special classes which are not present in the standard JDK right so all these classes are uh, bundled in a jar and uh, that is nothing but the servlet api.jar so it contains all the special servlet classes required to develop your servlet applications so where do you get this jar file from so basically if you uh, install tomcat you get this jar file uh, bundled with the tomcat installation itself so wherever you have installed tomcat you will uh, find this in the lib directory of your tomcat installation right so you can simply pick up uh, this jar file from that uh, location and place it into the jrext lib jre lib ext folder right. so most of the web servers uh, uh, provide this uh, jar file uh, along with the installation right so it it might be uh, it might not be named as servlet api.jar in all of them so the name might change so you just have to uh, look out for that right so this is it about the setup uh, you need to do and once you execute all these uh, all these five steps uh, your environment would be ready to uh, go ahead and uh, 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 execute your servlet app right so let's